What do you think has been the key to this team's success on the road in SEC play? Uh, just the effort we put in, uh, knowing every game is a big game and how much we got to fight coming into the game. Uh, I think that's the main reason why we're having a chance. Uh, is because we fight and we know that's not really we have a chance to, to win. How much different do you feel on the court now as opposed to you know, a few weeks ago? Um, I feel a lot different. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable. I'm adjusted to the game and the physicality level of, of, of how they play. Uh, I figured out how hard I have to play to be successful on the floor. And, um, just the confidence my teammates and my coaches is, is helping me as well. Did you want the ball at the end when you're hitting all those free throws? Were you glad to be stepping up to the line? Yeah, of course I wanted it. Um, all the work that that not only me but my teammates have put in, uh, that just that just instills confidence in you. Um, mm -hmm. So late late in the game when you put under situations where it would seem somewhat stressful, uh, it's not as stressful as you would think it would be. What allows this this team to just keep coming back? You know, you're down, but you're never out. It seems like what, where does that come from from this team? Uh, belief. Uh, the game's not over until to the horn, to the horn buttons. So uh, I think we just got to fight until the end of the game, from the start to the finishing. Uh, games will start uh, falling for us. When Wendell can step up and hit some threes early in the game, like he did, and he'll make some shots early in the game, how much does that give the offense a, a confidence boost going from there on out? Oh, it's a big, it's a, it's a big confidence boost. Uh, anytime we can get any player to hit, hit shots consistently um, at that level. Uh, it just feeds into our energy. Um, I feel like it helps us on the defensive end as well. Um, yeah. How much more confident of a Savion are you getting right now than maybe two, three weeks ago? Um, I can say he's a lot more confident. Um, he's seen the ball go in the rim a couple times, so that's getting his confidence level up. Um, he's been playing great for us, um, getting the second chance shots, a lot of second chance shots. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what you should expect from something. Coach was talking about, you know, how impressive it was that you guys scored 74 points the other night. Were you ever on a team where you felt like 74 was a high offensive output? Uh, <laughs> not really, but with this team and the, the pace of, of which we play, um, 74 is definitely a high number. Um, we don't play the fastest, um, so 74 points, yeah. It would, it would be a high output for us. In the middle of the game, they're, they're raining threes all over the court. It looks like everything they're, they're throwing up is going in. Can that get discouraging when you're trying to defend things like that? Uh, no, nah, it never gets discouraged, discouraging. Um, our game plan is, as most of you know, to make teams shoot as many threes as mm -hmm. possible. Um, so coming into the game, we know teams are going to hit threes. Um, so we kind of tell ourselves, don't get, get discouraged about, about things like that. What's your confidence level going into these last five conference games? Uh, our confidence level, I would say, would be through the roof. Um, I don't think it's any stopping us. We just know what we need to do to get these wins, and, um, and that's fight. Do you remember last kind one. of a light bulb moment or a turning point for you individually where you felt like, okay, I've kind of gotten past that point, that brick wall a little bit in the SEC? Um, no, I can't think of a moment in particular. I just think as the games progressed, I just kind of felt more comfortable. Um, my teammates kept pushing me. Uh, they never let me get down on myself. And uh, I think it's, it helped me. Thanks, Keith. When you hit that first shot last night, what, you, are you thinking maybe this is my night? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. The way they were guarding us, they were uh, over helping on Nebo, which was causing me to get in the rotation. Do you feel like y'all have maybe worked out some of the offensive issues you've had, or y'all just had a couple of good nights? Uh, we're definitely working it out. I feel like I feel like the, the attention Nebo is drawing is allowing us to get into more of a rhythm. What's been your uh, kind of process these last couple of weeks, getting that touch to your to your shot back, or last couple of months or so? I know things were a little slow for everyone to start out with, but you've really been able to kind of find that touch as of late. Uh, just staying confident and just trying to find a rhythm. Uh, not trying to rush it, not trying to force it, and uh, just trying to play off my teammates. How difficult was it to stay confident individually through the, the early struggles? Uh, I've struggled before, so it wasn't very hard. I understand that I can score the ball and that I can shoot it, so uh, I just made sure to just try to stay in the rhythm and, uh, and just play off my teammates and allow them to, to get me open. Any, anything extra in the gym, any different shooting drills, or is it all just kind of a, 
a mental confidence thing? I think it's all kind of a mental confidence thing. I kind of stick to my same, my same workout plan and uh, just being sure to stay in the gym. When you're playing aggressive like that, how, do you, how does that affect your team? Uh, it, gets, it gets everybody else open as well, as well as myself. I see Savion making shots, Q making shots, and Nebo getting the amount of touches he needs. It just it helps all of us. Wendell, the, the statistics would not indicate that y'all would be as successful as y'all. How do you how do you explain? How, how have y'all won seven games? Uh, I feel like we play harder than everybody else. Definitely offensively, defensively, uh, rebounding. We just tend to outwork people, fight harder. How has this group gotten so connected, as young as it is, but also as new, with so many new faces? Uh, we understand each other. We spend a lot of time together. Uh, but let's make sure we understand like the reasons why we're losing games and the reasons why we're winning games. And I feel like everybody's on the same collective thought. What's going through your mind when Shackelford <coughs> shooting those three free throws late in the game? Uh, ball don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> ball don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody say anything to you? Yeah, they're like, oh, man, I mean, I know I'm old, I'm old guy. You know, I'm supposed to foul a three-point shooter, especially a guy like him who was hot the entire game. But uh, I just find some hope. Bought online. <laughs> Where do you guys stand right now in five games left in the regular season? What is, as a team, your guys' mindset going into this final stretch and, and things still left to play for? Uh, keep getting better. You don't want to peak right now. Uh, you want to peak at the right time. And I feel like. Good teams are, are starting to, to peak, and I feel like the best teams are continuing to get better. What is the right time to peak for y'all? Uh, whenever that time is, honestly, I feel like just keep getting better. If you can get better, just keep going. Mississippi State's kind of peaking. They're playing pretty good basketball. What, what, have you watched them yet much? I haven't watched much of them, but I will today and tomorrow. So uh, I have to get a good, good look at them. How is it playing a little more point guard last night with Andre kind of nicked up? Uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I know how to control the game. I know how to play with pace. Uh, and just make sure I'm not, I'm not forcing anything. At, at this point in the season, looking back, how, what are kind of your thoughts so far just on the season, on uh, Coach Williams, the new staff coming in, and what y'all been able to accomplish to this point? Man, uh, it's a lot of days, a lot of hard work. Um, I felt like we didn't, we didn't like waver very much. We stayed headstrong and we just kept pushing. Uh, we just kept trying to figure out and find a way. It's the biggest thing to me. We just kept firing away. Kind of crazy to see the progression of this team from November to now. Oh, definitely. Uh, November was a struggle. December was a struggle, and we could just we could just feel bits and pieces falling together in January. But I feel like we're, we're getting to a really good, really good place. Was there a game that was the turning point for you? Uh, Not individually, but for the team where you thought, okay, maybe this is about to work. Arkansas, first game of the first game of the conference. We felt like we came out and we played really hard. We just got to tighten up on some things and, uh, and finish. So and we've been working on that. And as I've seen, we're 76. So it, it's showing. You guys, no time for a couple more, but always get one when they win one and lose one. It's the first time you've won back to back games since early January. How does it feel to be on a little bit of a roll now? Uh, it feels good. I feel like uh, we're, we're all understanding what we have to do and we're embracing it. And uh, like I said, we're, we're all on one collective thought. So. Buzz has always said change is hard and that you uh, have been kind of a ten toes on the guy, line kind of guy the whole time. Where, where does that come from? Is that uh, something that you saw in this new coaching staff <coughs> that you wanted to buy in, or is that just something that's been ingrained in you? Where, did, where does that come from? Uh, being an older guy on the team, I felt like, you know, you got to lead the way. You got to be an example and just uh, give young guys light and kind of just show them the way. Have, they may not know. have you always been like that, or is that something that kind of developed through this year through this, this uh, change? I've always been like that. I've always been like that throughout my whole life. Just trying to show and give people, give people light and show them a path and understand what, if, you, if you buy into it, it'll work. Did you play football for Coach Miller? No, I did not. Okay. I did not. Uh, I used to work out with him all the time in the offseason, but I never played. Okay. Any thoughts about him going to South Uh Congratulations to Coach Miller. Uh, I love his family. I love his wife, his kids. They're amazing. And uh, I just wish him the best.